You want life to be what you say. Have letter number 5735. August 7, 2016. Life is a breeze. However, you fantasize life as arduous. You set up parameters for life and tell life that it can go so far and no farther. You put fences up and assault life for being what it is when you don't like life stepping outside the borders you like to decide. You may think that life hassles you. You are the forbidder. You would like to rule life, make life a prisoner of your likes and dislikes. You would like to order life around and tell it what it may or may not do. Life is not unforgiving. You do not like life to do its thing. You think life is out of bounds. You would like to restrict life. There are dances you favor, and dances you don't. If you had your say, life would not be life. You think you would improve it. You may assert that life has no business being life. You may feel that life has no right to pick you up and ask you to dance and take you off your feet. You want life to dance to your tune. You want to dance the dances of your choice. You want life to be a restaurant where you make up the menu according to your desires and even your whims at a given moment. You fight life. You resist. You want to prevent life. You don't mind birth, yet you refuse death. You would outlaw death as you arm yourself with righteousness. Wake up. In life or in the misnomer named death, you are in my arms. Your mind and heart are fraught with ideas of danger. You tie yourself up in knots and blame life for imposing on you, yet you forget that I am with you. You invent stories. True, you invent romances, yet you also invent tragedies. You would really like life to be a pony show. You would like to choose every inch of life. Your prince would come. You would set the whole scene the way you want it to be. You would write your script. Unknown to you who are part of life, you are not separate from life, you do write your script. You forge for it. You derive drama and may declare an infringement upon your rights and privileges. You debate with life, even years after an event. You want life to reverse itself at your insistence. It is you, beloveds, who are to take life as it comes. Protest a cloudy day all you like. Protest the rain. Protest the draft. Protest the heat, and protest the snow. Where did you get the idea that life is supposed to wait on you hand and foot and bring you only clear skies and tidbits and delicacies you adore? Life is never wrong. Life follows its path. What if you could aim at accepting life? What if you could rid your mind from the idea of arbitrating and judging life? If, from your perspective, life knocks you down for the punch, how about getting up and rising above your assessments? Make friends with life. Shake hands with it. Be equal to what life hands you. Life is not your opponent. Life may not all be the flowers you would pick. Your favorite fruits are not always in season. Their season will come again. Knowing you, if life were all peaches and cream, you might decline this offering as well. You really might tire of life if it were all peachy keen. Life in the world is a mix. Life in the world is about contrast. Life does not have to put on kid gloves. Where did you get the idea that life is supposed to bestow favors upon you as you understand favors? Where did you get the idea that human life is a tragedy? Who says so? The world has judged life wanting. Who can say that life is hard-hearted? Who can say that life is unfair? Who has the right to cut life down to size and nip it in the bud? Who can declare that life is not a benefactor despite what you think? Certainly, life teaches you non-attachment. You may be an unwilling learner. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org